Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In the previous session, we have seen how to export the functions into the another file using the module.experts we have seen it. So fine. So up to now what we have did is okay. Now if you try to see here constant fs. So required of fs. This is a node.js core module. Okay, this is a node.js core module file system. So in order to access the file system, we are using node.js core module. So for for using this node.js core module. So here HTTP is also a node.js nodes core module. Whereas this routes is nothing but the router.js file which we are trying to use it. Now okay fine. So these are node.js core modules. There is no need for us to install externally any any libraries. For example, if you want to install any third party library, then what is the problem? So for example, let's say that if you want to uh, do any HTTP calls, any requests or anything, if you want Axios, something like that. So you need to have a third party libraries. So how Express.js, for example, let's say Express.js. Express.js is a frame, uh, is a framework which is used for the Node.js. So if you want to install the Express.js, it's a third party library. So how can I install this one? So in order to install this, we, we will be installing using the node npm packages. Okay. These are called as an npm packages, the third party libraries, which we are trying to use it in our node.js pro projects. Those are npm packages. That means node package manager. So this one is installed. The, the packages present in this npm is installed using the npm. So npm is directly installed in your, uh, system when you install the node.js there is no need to install the npm as a separate so already when you have in node.js installed automatically no npm also will be installed so if you want to check the no npm thing means you can use npm hyphen v so that you can get the version so let's try to see i will try to show you so here i have opened so you already know that for checking the node.js version so we will be using node space hyphen v so you'll get the version of the node.js. So if you want to know the NPM version, you can use NPM slash hyphen V and you can able to get the NPM version also. So it is trying to get the NPM version. Here you'll be able to see 8.18.0 is the node.js the NPM version and the node version is 18.8.0. So fine. So what is this NPM? So whatever the packages, third party packages that you want to install. So here using this node package manager, we can install it. So if you try to see, for example, if I want to install express, so here you will be able to see the express. Okay. It's a web framework. Now, if I try to open this one, so here, this is the express. So in order to install, we need to use NPM hyphen I express. I means install NPM install express. So now in order to use this command, first of all, we need to initialize the project. So you need to initialize the project. So how we can initialize the project is let's go into this explorer. And here, let's open in the command prompt. And this is our command prompt. And here we need to initialize the project. First, how we can initialize the project is in order to use the third party packages. How we can initialize is using the command npm init. So if you try to press npm init, it will ask you some series of questions. So you can answer those questions. Those are simple only. What is your project and all those things. See, it is asking that what is your package name. Package name is nothing but a project name. Okay, the name of the folder itself uh, comes by default, basic node app. So we can use it. Version, what is the version? So we can keep it as 1.0.0. Description, if you want to describe the uh, project description, so you can add description. So entry point. So what is the main entry file for this project? So normally it's an app.js. There only we have written the servers, uh, uh, server listening, right? So we can make it as an app.js. If you have other than app.js means you can mention server.js, main.js, whatever the file you are having, you can mention it. Now I press on a test command. So if you are having any test cases running, so what is that uh, command they are asking? So here is there any Git repository? Oh, fine. So if you are having any Git repository, you can add it. Keywords. So if you have any keywords, you can mention it. And here other. So if you are uh, other, so you can mention other like this. Leela web dev. Press enter. So license is common. So this is the pro uh, this is the project description. So this will be saved in a JSON file. And it will be saved in a package.json file. I will try to show you. So click on yes. Now the it has been the package the package npm has been successfully initialized. If you go to the project, here you will be able to see a file that is nothing but package.json. Okay. So let me zoom over this one. So maybe it is somewhat not zoom, I think. Let me try to zoom. Yeah, it's already zoom, not a problem. So here. 
if you try to see so whatever the in whatever the inputs that we have uh, that the package init npm init has asked so those are all came as in here as in as in objects so keys and values so this is the thing now what i want to do is now my requirement is for example let's say that so let's try to run the project npm init sorry so here we will be writing nothing but what we can say node app dot js file okay here we will be asking server listening at the 3000 port if you go here and if i try to refresh this page so we are able to see the output without any problem fine but the problem here what we are trying to get is <clears throat> whenever i try to change the file okay whenever i try to change the code so we need to rerun the code again so this could be a problem for us so for that reason what can we do is so we have a package okay we have a package third party package that is available in the npm package manager that is nothing but node mon so node mon so how can we able to know these type of packages and all this means through experience and through googling so if you find if you have a problem so you will google through the uh, in the google you will google it and you will be able to find the packages so by experience you can also get those packages names and all those things so node mon so he, so this is the thing automatically restarts the node application when the file changes in the directory is detected so this is the node mon how can we install this node mon so here you can use npm install node mon this is the command so let's go into this one the command prompt here here i can write npm install node mon okay so now node mon why we are trying to install so we are trying to use it for a development purpose while we are developing the code so we need our server to restart immediately whenever we are changing the file so that is purely development purpose so we can give it as a save if and dev so this is this is not required in the production environment why because in the production environment we will never change the files so already the finalized files only will be deployed into the production so that means there is no need for us to automatically restart the server so if you want start the server if you want to start the server it's enough so here i can use npm install nodemon hyphen save if and dev then that means it is installed as a development dependency so let's try to install it it will take some time to install so now as soon as you install this one so here it has been installed as soon as you install this one here you'll be able to see a new folder has been created that is nothing but node modules if you try to open this node modules you'll be able to see very long number of files here and in this one we are able to see somewhere mn so here this is the node mod okay this in node mod is again a project and in this package.json uh, so here the dependencies will be there so those dependencies are getting installed so these are the dev dependencies and dependencies so these are the things are getting installed so like this we, we have installed the node mod now what i need to do is so we can go to the here so we are able to see long way changes files right so for in order to get uh, in order to not get those node modules so what i can do here i can create a new file that is nothing but git ignore and in this git ignore i can add node modules that's it so now everything will be deleted i think so every files will be gone that's it the only three files are there now what i need to do so in package.json if you see here you will be having a scripts object okay here this is a scripts object so now instead of typing all the time node app.js and all those things so here you can write a handy code in a such a way that start i can use the name start and here i can write the command which i want to execute so this is the thing which i can do it normally what i can do here i can use npm run start or otherwise for start it's a special keyword you can use directly npm start so this command is nothing but in uh, internally it will try to execute the command which was given in the npm the scripts thing so it will try to check that start key and it will execute the command which was given so now we have installed the node mod now what i can do is so here instead of writing this one so i can write node mod app.js that's it so now if i try to stop this and if i use npm start now it will be so node mod app.js it is trying to run so now it has been started if you go to any file app.js or router.js and if you try to press enter and save it see again the node uh, the, the server is restarting again so this is how using the node mod we can there is no need for us to stop the server so previously in our sessions always we used to stop the server and again we need to restart it right whenever we are changing the file 
so now by by the with the use of this node bond so there is no need for us to inst uh, to stop the server and restart it again now if you see the output the same output we will be able to see so here that's not a problem and here if i try to write whatever the thing one two three four five so send so it has redirected to the home page and if i go to the username.txt see whatever the numbers i have given it has been added into the file so this is how we can initialize the package and also we can install the third party packages like here you will be able to see in the dev dependencies node bond has been in installed and the version of this one is something like 2.0.19 so this is how we will be installing the third party packages in the node.js hope you understood about this one if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you